Welcome! This video will show you how to set up an account on Libby. To begin, you can download Libby through Google Play for Samsung and Android devices, the Apple App Store for iPhones, iPads, and other Apple devices, and the Microsoft Store for Windows computers and devices. After you've opened any one of these applications, be sure to type Libby, L-I-B-B-Y, into the app search bar. Step two is to look for the Libby app logo to make sure you've got the right app, which you can see over here on the left. And then step three is to download the app. Once you've downloaded Libby, click on the app wherever it has downloaded on your device. Once you've done that, this should be the first screen that you see. Before you start, make sure that you have your library card handy. If you do not have a card, you will be given the option to register for one later on. Click on yes to continue. On the next screen, you have three options. The top option will allow you to copy a code from another device with a setup code. The bottom option will let you use your device's location settings to guess a library to choose. The option we're going to select is the middle one. I'll search for a library. From here, we can search for our library up here by typing in Wareham Free Library. Then we can press the Enter, Return, or arrow key on our device. What should come up are the words Sales Library Network and the address for our library down below. To continue, you will click on Sales Library Network. On this screen, you have four options. If you have a library card from an another mass library network like CLAMS, the old colony network, or a Boston Public Library card, you can choose the second option to borrow eBooks from the sales network. The third choice is what you click on if you do not have a library card. Keep in mind that if you register for an e-card, it is only temporary and you will need to visit a sales network library to upgrade it to a permanent card. The last choice will advance you to the Sales Libby search screen where you can search for items without a library card. What we're going to do is click on the first option at the top, choose a location. When you do this, one of the options at the very top should be Sales Library Patrons. That's the option that we're going to select. On the next screen, you can enter in your 14-digit library barcode on the back of your card. Once you've done this, it will prompt you for a PIN number. This is the last four digits of the primary phone number on your account. It could be a cell phone number or a home phone number. If you're not sure about this number, you can call the library. Circulation Desk at 508-295-2343, extension 1011 or 1013. Once you've entered in this information, you've officially registered for Libby and you can start borrowing books. Now we can look for a book to borrow. At the top, we're going to start by clicking on search for a book. The example that I will give you is a long Came a spider. The first book in the Alex Cross series by James Patterson. When we look at these selections, the first one over here is an ebook, and we know because it says read sample over here on the right. If we look at, at this second selection, this is an audiobook. The first way we know this is because there is an earbud icon underneath and it says audio. The second way we know is because it says play sample. It's an audiobook, right? Now this book is unavailable and we know that because it says place hold next to it. If we want to take a look and see, see the weight of how long it is until this audiobook is available, we can click on the calendar icon right here. And it tells us that there's two copies in use, there's three people waiting, and it's gonna be about eight weeks until it's available. If we slide back over here to the first selection, the ebook, it is available because it says borrow next to it. And we're going to click borrow because we're interested in reading it. 
On the next screen, you will see the book with your library card. Over here, it will tell you how many loans you've taken out with your library card. On the top, where it says seven days, we can click right here and select the amount of time we'd like to borrow the book for. We can go with seven, 14, or 21. Let's click on 21. At the bottom, we can click on borrow to borrow the book. Right here next to the book is the progress bar where you can watch and see how long it is before your book is downloaded. And then once you've seen the check mark, your book is ready to open. And then we can click on open book and we can begin reading the book. On your shelf screen, which you can click on at the bottom of the Libby app, you can check on the progress of a book being downloaded. Here, you'll notice that this audiobook is about a quarter of the way through to being downloaded. One important thing to keep in mind is that when you download an audiobook, it is a large file. If you do not have unlimited data, you want to make sure that you are connected to Wi-Fi so you don't use up the data plan on your mobile phone or device. If you want more information about this, you can call the library and we can provide you with assistance on making sure that your device has the right settings. If you want to look for another book, click on Library at the bottom of the app screen, and that will bring you back to the main Sales Network page. If you click on Shelf, that will bring you back to the books that you've downloaded or placed on hold. If you want to renew a loan, click on the blue button next to Manage Loan, which is to the right of the book. From here, you can renew it if no one else is waiting for it. The book will renew for 7, 14, or 21 days from the point at which you click Renew, up to 3 days before the book is due. Keep in mind that the system will not tack on extra time if you renew it a few days early. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. If you're having trouble trying to use Libby on your device or from your computer at home, you can call the Wareham Free Library Circulation Desk at 508 295 2343, extension 1011 or 1013. Also, be sure to check out our other Libby videos.